So we've talked about why the sky is blue and light scattering off the atmosphere, and now I'm going to make you a sunset. So here we have a fish tank full of water, and inside I poured a little bit of very dilute skim milk. Because in our little atmosphere here, we need scatters. You know, in the air you have the gas molecules, and in the water you got water molecules, but those don't scatter enough. We don't have enough. We need a bigger thing that scatters a little more. So milk is made up of little fat globules, little particles. I've sonicated this milk to make them even smaller, and they're pretty small compared to the wavelength. They're not as good as, as a molecule, but they're small enough to see the effects we want to see. So this is essentially our atmosphere, this water with dilute little milk scattering particles in it. Here is the sun, right? So this white light is the sun. You can see it comes out white. So here I'm sending it over the atmosphere, and when it goes into the atmosphere, you see it turns kind of yellow, kind of reddish yellow, just like the sun. The sun's light is really white, but when it goes through the atmosphere, the sun looks kind of yellow. So what we learned so far, uh, what we talked about on the boards is that the forward scattered light should be unpolarized. This light source has both scattering components, or it sends unpolarized light, both components, and both will go forward. We'll lose some blue away, but both will scatter forward, and both will transmit forward. So the yellow light from the sun should not be polarized, so I'm going to bring my polarizer in, and we're going to look at it this way, and it's just as strong when we look at it that way. So unpolarized light gets through. And it looks kind of yellow because it's losing a lot of blue light to the side. Now, to look at the blue light, it's a little bit dimmer. We've got to turn the lights out. So let's get it dark in here. All right, and now we can more clearly see the scattered beam. And when you look from the side, it's got kind of a blue tint to it. It's not strikingly blue, and that's because my particles aren't really as small as they need to be. But what is striking is it is highly polarized. As we talked about, the light scattering from the side should be polarized. So if I take my polarizer, I can look one way, and I see my scattered beam, and if I turn it, it's completely gone. This way, I got a scattered beam, this way, gone. And if I look from the top, I see a scattered beam this way, there it is, turn it to the side, completely gone. Beam, gone. So there's the color and polarization effects we were talking about for the sky. Here they are in a fish tank.